Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. I'm going to be talking about a animated show, The Justice League. This is a show I have a real fondness for. It came out in 2001, I believe. It is split up in the sense that it does continue into Justice League Unlimited, which I really like also. I don't have much negative things to say about the show is I think it's great, except for the animation format, the molds they use. But other than that, this show is great. I don't compare it in a way to X-Men in certain ways, uh, which came out in 92 and took some of the greatest elements of the comics and um did it the best in my opinion. This had lots of breathing room, which is good in a different way. You didn't have to nail down epic storylines from the cartoon, and they did here and there pull it and you know do the same thing. You know they might adapt something from the uh, comic book, but they'll take the center character and switch it around, things like that. But what this show has is legendary voice acting. DC has always uh, seemed to have gotten the best and kept them. It is also a Bruce Timm show, which is the Batman the Animated Series, which is all the um, animation seems similar. And I think it starts with Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and The Flash, Martian Manhunter, Hawkgirl, and the continuation of this animated show justice league unlimited just started revolving characters in a lot so other than comparing it to the x-men and saying you know uh night of the sentinels and the dark phoenix saga uh touching on the phalanx um uh, villains this show felt like you were watching a different new comic which is just as good you could do so much with the animated show and it, it feels like that's what they decided to do. I think they kept their animated movie line for more direct adaptions of certain storylines, and I think they failed miserably at a lot of them. That fucking Superman vs. Doomsday is horrible. Anyway, the Justice League animated show really opened the door. It had a lot of breathing room. You could play with different characters in different ways. The storylines were maybe not as epic and deep and, uh, you know, um, have an affinity for things that I've been through in life and things like that where you can compare it to the X-Men. But the themes are there. The characters are given chances to grow in certain arcs, so they were able to keep that. They didn't have the season-long underlying themes in a way. Which is great, which is good, because when you can get characters you expect to love, you got a Green Lantern who wasn't the most popular in the comics at the time, Jon Stewart, and Hawkgirl. And you grow to love these characters, give it good writing, excellent to legendary voice acting. There's so many. Um, Kevin Conroy, uh, Mark Hamill, and all the characters that I bring from the DC universe are in here in some form, done extremely well. Um, the guy who, who was that guy who did the uh, Clancy? He does all you know. He's played the uh, in the Highlander movie. Great voice acting, and you were able to keep them. And I know when I stopped kind of paying attention, although I do go back and try to watch animated stuff. There is a fan consensus that, you know, you need this Batman. He's amazing. Um, the voice actor, Kevin Conroy. Uh, Tim Daly, I think it was the Superman, and they kind of changed him here and there. Uh, even the artwork, as they were playing with things a little. Not enough of me to notice in that way. I always had a problem with the animation. But the portrayal of the characters is spot on. The inspiration, the storylines, the way they... Uh, resolve. They do have some deep themes here and there. Uh, yeah, Clancy Brown. That's the, that was the name I was fucking thinking of. 
Um, but you know, you got your Lex Luthers in here, your Dark Seed, Dark Side, um, Brainiac. It's just a real good time, fun cartoon, and the chemistry seems to be spot on and just fluid and amazing. Even the Batman, the way they contrast Batman to certain characters, it really is uh, charming and a really good um, example of uh, taking an adaption and take, uh, using the comics, but doing something new. Expanding on the old Super Friends and the uh, campiness of the uh, original one. I think anything is made better with Robin in it, so I'm going to be a little disappointed in that. Um, there's a little bit of a flirting between Wonder Woman and Batman, which is done excellently. It's just so much fun. I don't like to compare the, you know, these animated shows. I mean... Batman animated series is arguably the best with the X-Men. Um, this going into the uh, Justice League Unlimited is an amazing feat also. Done superbly well. You've got to have fun with this. Just go along for the ride. And it just will really show you what you can do with comic book characters and not worry about you know, live action the spin-offs, the connections are done well. They have some characters that come out of nowhere and become the center point, and the story revolving around them is really done well, and things are going on in the background. Great way of showing you can do a lot with the comic book characters. And I don't know about their criticism for how they release things, but DC has always been leading the way. There's I don't think it's really a question. Marvel is never committed to the animation department and that, that line of uh, exploring, exploring the entertainment that DC has. They've nailed it down. I will disagree with certain things. I don't like several of the Batman type things. It's one of the couple of Supermans are just god awful. But they commit. They even try different art styles, which I um, can respect and understand. They will try newer things, and like I said with the X-Men, did the Hulk vs. Thor and the Hulk vs. Wolverine. It was in one movie, and it was fucking great. I love that cartoon, or whatever the fuck you call it, animated movie. The Justice League was the beginning of uh, DC's foray, in my opinion, to getting back and expanding everything. I mean, you had Batman the Animated Series, and... Maybe the X-Men at the time when Batman started. You had Spider-Man there too, which was an excellent show. But this was the funnest. It's just from beginning to end, you're wrapped up in this zaniness of superhero cartoon. And when it's done well on so many fronts, you got to give it credit. It doesn't really let you down. Um, I think you would say... If there are more funnier, uh, campy feel to the Justice League, and especially Justice League Unlimited, and I think it lent well to what they were trying to do. Wasn't they do this more serious stuff and more epic uh, adaptions from the comics into their movie department? So I, w- I was glad to see this come along. I was hooked from day one. I was excited when they brought it back as the. Uh, Justice League Unlimited, and they really turned it up a notch. There's some awesome techniques they use of bringing characters in and out. There's all this love you can tell that goes into these things, and it's sad sometimes when I'm watching things like um, Rebels, where I Star Wars Wet Rebels, and I, it starts to lose me. And there's, there's something that feels off. I'll give Clone Wars a lot of respect. It deserves for what it did, the animated series. But in my mind, you've got Batman, X-Men, 90s cartoon. And this is right there with the Spider-Man. Although well, Spider-Man is so good at direct adaptions and portraying the character, it kind of may be up there with the um, X-Men and Batman. But other than that, DC dominates everything. Quality, consistency, got to give it to them. I love the voice acting. 
and they seem to be able to bring them back, and that's important to me. Believe it or not, I don't know why, maybe it's a flaw. Uh, although, I watch all the Batman things and the other Supermans, and if it's good, it's good. It might occur to me that it's a different actor. Uh, and the animation, that's really, the, the animation's the only nitpick here for me. Uh, watch all the time, Batman vs. Uh, Black, I think it was Shazam vs. Black Adam or something like that. It's like a 20, 30 minute movie. And basically, it's Shazam origin, Black Adam of his arrival, and Superman trying to get in between and stop the fight. Superman Shazam, something like that. Excellent. I love it. I have it fucking, I watch it so much. I'll give the stuff a chance, and I think you could bank on it. You can say, you know, I'll give this a chance. It's DC. And maybe some people have certain criteria, like if you fuck me over three times, I might step away for a while and not keep going back to the well. That's fine. I'll always go back every once in a while. I'll check out the three or four animated movies that I've missed. There are other cartoons, some of them I love, and some of them I hate, but not because they're bad. It's not for me. I'm not into the more childlike uh, uh, Titan uh, cartoon they had, but for what it's for, fine. It's great. It's like Marvel tried to do like Hulk smash or something like that. It was fucking nerve-wracking. But I, I'm not here to say that they're bad. It's fucking cartoons. It's entertainment for mostly kids. But you can understand these episodes, Justice League, even though it's a little more fun and campier, adults will like it also. If you're a fan of cartoons and the superheroes and all the movies that are exciting you, that's what I would go back to. Go to the Justice League from 2001. It's like not that many seasons and episodes, but all quality. Then it goes into Justice League Unlimited, and it just keeps, you know, it just expands. You can go look at the work that the DC Universe does, animation. I think they just do it so well. Just stuff that maybe is not for me. I don't agree with it. So there you go. Watch the Justice League cartoon. Yes, I don't know if people like saying the cartoon. It's animated. That's probably what I'll put on the title. But anyway, this is fun. I've been looking forward to going to a lot of the animes, revisiting them. And this was a chance to start. I, I don't know which one I'll release first. I've got the X-Men and uh, Batman the Animated Universe. Or Batman animated show. And they did some great um, growth of a character. You, know, you won't get that in this too much. But it's there. It's there. There's growth in characters. There's arcs. So I recommend it totally. Be safe everybody. And be well.